I think the one important thing is that you have to know that the music you make is good. Um, because, you know, if everybody tells you that, you know, that, you know, you can't do it, it's their opinion. It's not the truth. If you know in your heart that you can do it and you got what it takes, um, then you should continue to persevere because that's the number one thing and with anything. Uh, you have to learn and you got to fall and you got to like get yourself back up and learn from your mistakes. Um, and the, the, the biggest advice I can give to bands out there that are trying to do something with this uh, industry that's a little bit in a weird position now with all the downloading and everything, it's getting harder for record labels to support the bands the right way and put them on tour, you know, uh, is that they need to um, make learn from their mistakes, number one, and mistakes kill bands. You can make 10 great moves and you make one bad one and you're gonna be back five years. And that's, that's the thing. Um, you, you have to be very careful how you uh, position everything. You gotta think of three steps ahead. They say think two steps ahead. I always say think three steps ahead. Plan A, plan B, plan C all the time. And uh, I think that's the only way that you can have some sort of um, a good approach, you know. Uh, play as much as you can because you gotta become master of that stage. Uh, that's where you're gonna sell that band. It's not gonna be through, uh, you know, you can have YouTube and you can have uh, MySpace and whatever it is that you think you can channel it through, but you cannot sell it until you sell it live. And that's where you sell it. You could be the best band on CD or on, on, on have the biggest hits on Facebook. But I've seen bands with not much likes and all that stuff on Facebook, then they go live and they destroy. And I think that's how you get it. And uh, it's, it's all about selling yourself live because that's the real last thing that's human, that exists, that's real between a fan and a musician. Um, you know, that's the last thing that's left that's real. So live, everything's on the live. I would have to say that um, the biggest challenge for me uh, has, has been bringing X Deo into the fold because um, a lot of bands that do projects or something different, they copy the same thing they're just doing and doing it with a different name, you know, just to buy time or whatever. Um, this is something that, as you can see, I'm very into the Roman history and everything. I, I, I love it. I, I wanted to do something that was different, that, that nobody's done before. Um, it, it was untouched territory. And when you do something that's not been done before, there's always huge risk and a lot of criticism can be there and a lot of crap. But luckily, we've been able to forge on and, and, and do something out of that band. Uh, but I've created my own competition. And to me, that's ec extremely important because it keeps me on my toes. You know, this new Cataclysm record, uh, I don't think would be as good as it is if it wasn't for X Dale's Caligula record because that record, we pushed ourselves and it, it was a very well received and it was a big record for the band and people liked it and, and it grew and then we can't do a shitty Cataclysm record. I mean, I got to come back and hit hard with that. So I'm not looking at other bands, whether a lot of bands are competing with each other in this small industry, which I think sucks. Uh, I'm all about humbleness. I think that it's important to, to keep your feet on the ground and, and do something. So if you're going to do something, you need that competition feel because I am a very com big competitor. I like to compete. I'm going to compete against myself, and I think that that's uh, more healthy uh, and better for the scene as well. So I, 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 I try to I do myself with both bands, and uh, it's cool. I think we, we, we get the challenge, and when we did Caligula, it's like, oh man, we got to bounce back with a good Cataclysm record, and I think that's it helped. It helped do this record, you know, and, and um, who knows what the future holds. I will say that Cataclysm is more me every day. Uh, when you see me on that stage having a good time and shaking people's hands and, you know, downing a beer on stage or something in front of my fans and just like having a great time, uh, that would be me, you know. And uh, you can see me on a Cataclysm show that a couple of songs, I'm going to be very aggressive, but then the other song I'm going to be just like, you know, jumping in the crowd, you know. It, it, that's just the way I am in real life, you know. I have my ups and I have my downs. And I think Cataclysm represents that very well, you know. It's for me, uh, on a social level, you know. It's my street uh, band, this Cataclysm, you know. But Ex Deo is my art, is my, it's a different uh, beast in its own, you know. It's my, almost my fantasy of how would it be living in Roman times, you know, because I am, 
a huge Roman history buff and you know people that know me with eggs they don't know. <laughs>